Hi guys, this is MJ from the Raven Age here, and uh, you're listening to me right now on Metal on Loud. Thank you for joining the podcast, man. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> How are things in your world? Yeah, yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Yeah, we're uh, we're just uh, things are starting to open up again and you know get going. So it's uh, it's it's looking more optimistic for the uh, music community as a whole. I think. Mm -hmm. How have you um, experienced uh, the last few months? It's been very difficult. I mean, I think you know it's been difficult for 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 a lot of people, but. You know, uh, uh, the the music industry, the entertainment industry, I think as a whole, has probably been hit the worst uh, of uh, uh, most stuff. You know, not just the artists, but everyone involved in it as a whole. It's been very, very difficult. And you know, we've 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 just like everyone else, we've suffered. We we had an amazing, amazing year for the band through touring and stuff, in 2019. So it was really like a real high for us personally to then go from you know to, to for what happened afterwards it was uh mm -hmm. you know it was a it was a real blow but you know we're, we're getting over yeah. it now and uh you know onwards and upwards as they say you're back with a, a new release and uh, i have to say uh, this release kind of surprised me because uh, i know you to be a very energetic bat yeah and uh, this new release it's very mellow <laughs> yes so the you know the the initial plan was to release the fo the follow up to conspiracy, mm -hmm. which still get, which is still on the cards. But we were left with a quite a big conundrum, where we couldn't obviously if we couldn't tour, mm -hmm. you know it just didn't work financially. It wouldn't work for the band. It would have been you know and a lot of bands were in the exact same situation. Yeah. They couldn't release new material if they couldn't record it. But we had this i uh, if they can tour it sorry. But we had this this kind of idea. A while ago, we were doing some shows, uh, shows behind shows when we were in tour in South America. We were doing some acoustic sets in between mm -hmm. some of the main shows, and we had to turn some of these heavy songs into acoustic songs. And it, we were actually we were quite surprised to to how it sounded, and we really it was, sounded it was really cool. It was a very different thing for us. And we were we we kind of played with the idea for a while of releasing like a little side EP, something like that, of this in this vein. And we'd done it before. We did uh, like an alternate version of Fleur de Lis and it went down really well and a lot of people liked it. So we, this pandemic essentially gave us the opportunity to try this, to do this different mm -hmm. thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're really happy with how it came out and we're really happy with what it is. But it just, as I said, it was one of those things. We probably wouldn't have ever done it to this extent had it mm -hmm. not been for the, the climate of the music industry you know it was one of those things this is what it gave us the excuse to do it and um, we did stuff that we've we've never done before you know we played with a, a string quartet we played with you know pianists and stuff like that and it was you know it was amazing to 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 do and yeah it's, it's a nice it made you know from what was a very tough year it was quite enjoyable to try something different i have to say the the sound is great you you really nailed the songs, but um, thank you. It was a surprise <laughs> to me. Yeah, I mean, we are a metal band. That's the thing, and we yeah. are still a metal band. But it was, as I said, there's there's so many kind of different uh, dynamics to what we can do. I think musically, it was just nice to try this mm -hmm. element differently. You yeah. know, do you have uh, uh, plans on this tour to be uh, performing this stuff uh, acoustic as well? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, the plan is this is kind of like a standalone thing. Uh, mm -hmm. and that's how we're going to keep it. We did a, an acoustic kind of live event, uh, stream event at uh, uh, a venue in Birmingham, which was uh, uh, in Wolverhampton, sorry, which was, was fantastic. But that's kind of what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. The tour that we're doing in, uh, in Britain at the end of the year is uh, purely a Raven Age tour. We're, we're, we potentially are going to do the, the new tracks from it mm -hmm. in, and we'll try and work them into the set. But it's all going to be, the rest of it's going to be kind of like the heavy versions of the songs, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand that. 
uh, if you write a song, uh, do you ever start out on acoustic guitar, or are you usually some uh, a band that starts out with uh, electric? No, actually, that's the weird thing. A lot of the time, we do start out with acoustic guitar. A lot of the melody ideas that we get mm. start off life, you know, just because you know, I, I sometimes I'm just sitting at home. I have I keep an acoustic guitar next to me most of the time anyway, and I, I, I you know I noodle just like a lot of guitarists and people do you know and um, that's where our initial melodies sometimes take take form, which is why it was so quite easy for some of these songs to be broken down into acoustic songs because the melodies kind of almost lent themselves to that you know what I mean. Yeah, I figured as much uh, because they uh, they really sound natural in this form. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we, we were quite surprised actually um, when we started doing it. So yeah, I'm really happy with with how these these kind of different takes on these songs. The two uh, new songs on this album um, were they actually written new, or are they left over from an older recording process? No, they're brand new, and they just kind of coincided really nicely with this idea. So wait for me was a song that I kind of. Uh, came up with or the initial kind of idea for it on tour back in 2019 mm -hmm. so i had this idea and we we did a lot of like writing just in the back of the bus while we were traveling from place to place and i i kind of worked on it for george i said i've got this kind of ballady idea for something and then by the time we came around to doing exile we thought oh great this this will fit in perfectly and george essentially had the same thing with no man's land he'd been working on this song for a while and not just the the type of song that it is but also the, the 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 lyric based of what it is like the they just the theme of both the songs just fitted in really nicely with the theme of of what exile is all about so it just it was just a nice coincidence really well there's a, a lot of emotion in uh, in this record i think and uh it's not just in the the slowness of the melodies but also in the in the lyrics and such yeah. thank you yeah um it's definitely a more kind of somber take <laughs> on uh, on uh, you know on on stuff that we've done so um uh yeah it's uh yeah we it was it was you know we were all going through a tough tough period in our lives so it's you know that that kind of i think is reflective a little bit in mm -hmm. you know the music writing of it the many faces of humanity and the many faces of the raven age <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well <laughs> We like to think so. We like to think that we're more than just a little bit of a one-trick pony. At least, um, you know, hopefully. I really love the balance as well with uh, with the live set uh, you uh, you put on there as well. It's uh, it brings uh, a, a little energy. Thank you. Yeah, that was always the the because the thing is the, the whole as I said it actually goes I think quite nicely with the concept because. Not only have we got these these songs that are befitting of the of of the time in which it's been released but we wanted to show people what we're missing you know this is what we do these are our live tracks that we recorded on uh, on the 2019 tour and uh, this was almost like it was like a homage to to that the fact that this is this is essentially what we're not being able to do by being in exile you yeah. know this is uh, this is um and it, as i said it just again we recorded these tracks with the idea i think later on to release like a live live album or have these as bonus things on another album and it just it just when we were talking about this exile idea it's thought, well, let's, let's do that let's add them as yeah. this, this kind of two two sides of a coin if you know what i mean that's exactly the idea uh, i got from uh, listening to it it's uh, all the the, the the slow years with uh, the coronavirus and yeah. then you guys come out kicking and screaming like <laughs> yeah that's wrong oh good oh good <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you got that that's, that's great uh, uh, i cannot wait to um, uh, to hear what uh, uh, other stuff you got brewing um when are you going to start working on a full album well, you know, I, I've, I've kind of, I've already mentioned this quite a few times, so I'm not in like any, you know, fear of, you know, saying things that I shouldn't. You know, the plan was at the beginning of early on was to release the follow up to Conspiracy. Mm. You know, uh, that was the plan. But obviously, because we couldn't tour it, we couldn't release it. Yeah. So essentially, these songs we've had quite a while, and they're, you know, they're they're on the show. We're just <laughs> they're they're there, essentially ready to go. We're just kind of waiting for the right time. Uh -huh. where we can put it out and you know get it matched up with some some decent shows 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, but we, we've said this, you know, that, that it's on the way. Uh, very, very, you know, hopefully as, as soon as we physically can, <laughs> can get it out there to everyone, we, we shall do that. It must be very, really frustrating if you already have that stuff waiting around, uh, not to be able to properly release it. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's very frustrating. And this is kind of one of these things like the, the third album is like a big deal in general for my, mm-hmm. most bands. And, you know, we're very proud of what this is going to be, I think. So we're just, as I said, it's just waiting, waiting for the right time. And it has been frustrating. But the thing is, I think the, the Exile project has given us that, you mm-hmm. know, that um, outlet in a way yeah. to, to, uh, to still be creative and to, to show a different side yeah. of the band and to almost show, <laughs> in many ways, the frustration of, of, <laughs> of, of the time. Yeah. How's your year going to look? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. How is the rest of your year going to look tour-wise? Looking good. I mean, th- this year obviously it's been difficult, um, mm-hmm. which is why we're kind of only doing the UK at the end of this year because you know even getting out to Europe hasn't been an option for us this yeah. year. Um, uh, but we're uh, we, next year's at this point. It's looking it's looking good. We've got some stuff in the pipeline, and we're hoping to get back over to Europe as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and. I think it's. I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, a good year for for us, and not just us, but the, the music industry as a whole. I hope will be, you know, more back to some form of normality. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at uh, the music scene itself, uh, there's so much new, uh, f- fresh blood, fresh music coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're on the way back. Yeah, I think so too. I really, I, I, I'm start. I think that buzz is starting to come come around again, and. Uh, yeah. You know, I just I, the thing is, I hope that there's not there's so many you know young bands that probably have been, you know, slightly, dim, you know, demotivated mm-hmm. because of it. You know, I hope it doesn't hasn't had that kind of lasting ramifications. You know, I hope yeah. hope we I can think, get back uh, to it. If anything, um, uh, people have gotten a creative kick out of this because mm. uh, even this week I had five interviews, <laughs> mm. all new material. So it's yeah. yeah. Interesting times. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's a good word. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> also love the uh, the artwork for this album, by the way. Who did that? Thank you. Uh, well, the uh, the concept I, I artwork has been stuff that we've actually had for quite a while. Um, the main thing is we wanted to kind of we wanted to keep everything like gray grayscale, you know, no lack of color, <laughs> you know, to kind of mimic the mood essentially and minimalist was definitely something that we wanted to go with as well because it's essentially this is not this is different from every other kind of release this is like a so we needed to do something that was a little bit different within the artwork yeah well succeeded it's uh, it's very edgar Allan poe oh yeah a lot of people have said that (laughs) yeah yeah that's uh yeah yeah that's good that's good Uh, are you a big poetry fan by the way um I take, I wouldn't call myself a big poetry fan. I, I've taken influence from poetry mm-hmm. uh, in, in ideas for themes. Uh, the song the song on this album, Wait For Me, was taken, the uh, inspiration for that was taken from a poem. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, um, I think if you can even, if you can just appreciate it sometimes from an artistic level, that can do quite a lot for, mm-hmm. you know, for anyone's creativity, I think. Yeah. It's a little rhythm of life, uh, I always say, poetry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Do you have any uh, last words for uh, our viewers out there, uh, your uh, fans? Uh, just a massive thank you to everyone that's kind of getting behind the band and buying the uh, the new album. And obviously, I know it's it's you know it's a bit of a different uh, way of, of viewing the band, but I'm I'm really happy with the response so far. Has been overwhelmingly positive and you know we're just hoping to keep be back to uh business as usual and mm-hmm. seeing everyone and playing in front of everyone uh, very very soon i hope so as well um it would be awesome to see you guys uh, play live again <laughs> yes yeah yeah we can't we physically can't wait right. thank you very much for coming on and uh, thank you very much house. thank you